All right, welcome back. Another weekly update here. Today's Tuesday, the 27th. It's about 4.30 right now. About to go ahead and have dinner here soon. I'm gonna make a quick video. Um, so, update on Jenny. Since the last update and the subscriber to 1,000, I'm not checked. I'm sure we're like 1,020. Yeah, we're there. So, no more updates on the channels there so much. Um, anyhow, that's the track. So, I've been primarily right now, I've been working on the interior adding rip tape for the floors. I want floor mats that are slippery and fall out and hassle. Um, I don't want that. Bare steel's fine, but slippery, being bare steel, being replaced, patched in, so it's slippery. Uh, and also I want the tone, two-tone effect. I, there's just so much here. So I said, like, I'm doing grip tape. I can modify it the way I need and roll, put it down 22 inch by 12, this is a um, 12 inch roll, but it's kind of trimmed to fit as one big piece in length on both sides. Same measurements. So, yeah, they're in. The benefit is so I can go ahead and trucks icy outside or it's in the mud, and the trucks on a bank on an angle or on, or on a rock, whatever. It's hard to get in. I don't have my rock sliders here. You have to get it being a proper step, but. It does help get grip in here and you don't slide. That's purpose. All right, so that's it for the floors. In the cab, seats are done, of course, they're done. In the house, I haven't showed them yet, but they're done. Um, there's that. Speaker mount goes up there. Still trying to figure out mounts, and I'm not prioritizing it right now for my boss speaker. Onto the dashboard. So on the dash, Here's my old panel. I'm going to keep it actually. So it does spin around. But so you have speedometer, we have temp, and we have oil pressure. So I'm going to keep in these here and center because they work. Why change them and reconfigure the length of the wire so they don't get changed at all? The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that square opening. That was for the voltage and the fuel. And I, I, I have round ones in the box replacements but they don't make square ones anymore they are 300 dollars used mine are all broke and i don't know if those new, old used ones will work either so it's like i never go around problem is standard is like two inch diameter i need an inch and a half to fit in that square side by side voltage and fuel so that's not gonna work so that's empty space and i don't want to change that configuration so my idea is to find someday Get a reverse camera for the truck, HD quality reverse camera, and mount the LCD screen right there. Probably a simple two by two or something screen. Nothing crazy. Kind of not in between the two, right on center. I don't know, 3D to print a mount for it. So that's the idea for that. So my, my radio area, which I don't have radio, radio is up there on my phone. So here's going to be my RPM gauge from Bosch for running overdrive, maybe a back PTO to run how much RPM you want to be at precisely. So that's what RPM is for. Then of course voltage, and the voltage is going to be a dual setup, which I have one in the box, and it shows me my main and my aux. So my main is my starter battery, then my aux is my auxiliary battery, all to my yellow top for my winches and lights and everything else. So that will read those two voltages for me. And then fuel gauge, Classic fuel gauge would be there. So to me, all my primaries are here. Besides speeds over there. Um, so hmm, that's going to be. So there's that. Um, floor. I'm going to wait till my overdrive arrives someday. Uh, from some from Sal. Once that arrives, uh, I get my shift linkages all done for the for overdrive. Once that's done, I ordered a new yoke from Kaiser Willys. Uh, for my Danny at Teens Lagoon Oil. The yoke is bad. We have double up seals, new seals in the transmission, and it still leaks. So it's the yoke, it's bad. 10 spline. So I ordered a new one, shipped out today. So I'll install that, fix the leak. Leak, <laughs> leak, uh, leak, and leak everywhere. So I move the truck around, it leaks more. So I'll fix the leak there. And that's overdrive installed. The new shifter boots can be put on. I have new shifter boots that arrive that are leather. 
not not rubber they're leather so a lot more better quality like 10 bucks more rubber ones just fall apart within a year they rip apart fall apart i bought two about the danny 18 rubber it didn't last a week of me shifting it broke right away i'm going leather if it breaks i could sew it so i bought these main t90 and here i got my PTO overdrive and there should be one more in here for my twin sticks as well as I got new weather blades not priority but need them and then I got spare universal joints in the last order uh, I don't really need them, need them but I have I have spares on the truck spare parts so adding free shipping so bought those so that's it for the last order I got and going on underneath the truck. My handbrake assembly, I got it all fixed. Somehow, it broke. The weld broke. Mainly on this side. You fixed them. You don't see them now. But... So, gave this to a friend. Five minutes, got it fixed. Free of charge. So, this just needs sandblasted. All the parts. Get threads cleaned up. New cutter pins. Uh, they may maybe add a bushing up here. I'm not sure. I think we're okay. So we need to get some swing and sway. Not so stiff. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's new cutter pins and yeah, chase threads. So that's my handbrake assembly. Ready to install handbrake now. Cables. I did order a new speedometer cable, even though I still have to go GPS, but then replace that too. We'll see what the feature gives me on that, but. So there's that, there's that. That's it for updates, I would say, on the truck. Uh, okay, that's it for interior, underneath. Back here, of course, air tanks, they're gonna mount, the back winch, they're gonna mount. And then the rear hitch. I'm trying to configure this Chevy 1500 two inch receiver to make it work. It also gives me round. And on this side, I want to have a um, flat pin. So you have two options for trailers. I like the idea. I have an idea, a sketch how I want to do it, but I'm waiting back to go back to draw bar. I'm going to go back to it. As much as I want to go this route, I'm going back to draw bar to give a classic look. Um, Engine 7 8 is my primary I tow with. Uh, ball, you can always swap it out. I will also have a, another triangle here for two inch, just for the property use for towing the trailer on the property. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back to this. I already have my pendle hitch bolts to be using. These ones need to be drilled on the frame. They're not in the chassis. They're not made for this draw bar. This is for a CJ. And then also you have these holes here, which I don't ha I have them, but they're not gonna work on the truck because the gas tank's in the way. So I need to make my own custom mounts so this doesn't twist out, which it already has telling a four ranger out of the woods for someone it got out but this got bent so all these little angles got bent so bent it back made some kind of custom piece which i don't mind because i need a skid plate made for my gas tank which these bars will help support a skid and then my winch i'll figure out the winch how i'm gonna lay it out so there's that engine bay now Nothing new in here. I got the fenders on. Talked about that already. Paint's all touched up. So I need to get all this paint sanded. Mats. I got lip. Steps done. So it's all touched up. Even the old bondless spots. Much better. Now I'm ready to get some 600-ish grip paper. Rough sand. It's, it's definitely see a difference. Though I painted it here, and you don't see a difference at all, so I'm gonna leave this alone. But this and this need to be sanded enough. It's minor. If I sand too heavy, you'll see Bondo again. So, not too heavy. So that's that. And then engine bay, really just again, fueling needs to get done. Those carburetor things need to get put on. That's it for this. Uh, where are the lights up? I'm trying to find some TJ buckets. I have some LED halos for TJ. I got for half off, and I have them. I want to use them, but I don't. I need TJ buckets to make them work. 
so I can adapt the TG bucket to the grill than versus trying to adapt the light to the old bucket. I tried it, don't work on CG grills. So it's not gonna work here. So I'm gonna get a TG bucket and modify it. Make it mount. And then here, we get some ideas. I have yet to do it. But I took the old horn bracket off since my horn's now inside the grill, tucked up inside, getting more space in here. So I'm gonna mount on these two bolts here, not this bracket angle iron piece, cut kind of in half. So it's like this, and that one bolted on, the other half will be bolted this way, bolted on top. And on this piece that hangs down on this side, and I can mount my relays kind of horizontal or vertical as I wish. So label, horn, label, lights, label, amber lights. That's where my relays are organized and I'm mounted nicely. Have some nice proper ground if I need ground. So, doing that. It's much better than what I did. Sheet metal screws in here, which worked, but it's not pretty. So, I'm making it much more prettier. So, I got my Brake Master Reservoir from. Wildwood, get that mounted up. Uh, yeah, that's it for in here. Alrighty, let's move on. That's it for the truck updates. On to some parts and deals I bought over the weekend. I got just nothing to talk about. Nothing I really got for the truck, except for the four nine inch. So I finally found an axle proper width for Jenny. The Dana 53 on the truck is stock. It works, it's a one ton axle basically but I have a bad spider gear and replacements are not really that easy to find. And if I'm going to tear it apart, I'm adding a locker, but there's no locker options available. They're out there, very scarce. On the forums back in 2002, I saw on the forum in 2002, $700 used price for a limited slip for a 53, like 25 years later, it's going to be a bunch more money. So yeah, for $700 for a lot, limited slip, I can build this thing up for under a thousand total. Disc brake, new bearings, new shafts, 32 plus spline. Um, I can have an air locker. I can put a woman slip in this thing, 538 ratio, high pinion if I want. So there's options here. The biggest thing is I got this for 75 bucks from a guy. He, was, he bought it for a drag car and something about this radius was too, too much of a radius for his build because it's such a stubby axle. So it measures a 60 and a half, which I need 60 and a half. So it's perfect. So actually, he measured on the outside, but I measure on the inside for my axle. Inside the inside, that's like 59 and three quarter. So actually it's like three quarter inch too small for me, but three quarters a lot better than the rather four, five, uh, Four nine inches I've been finding all 57 inch wide flange to flange. Way too narrow. It will work. And the truck being stiff suspension, I should be okay. Uh, Bronco axle. But in some case, for the same it gets Lucy suspension, go off road, that drum may hit that frame rail. So I'm a little bit wider if I can. So this works perfectly. And for air lockers, my only option is ARB, as I'm joining the Ford 9-inch group on Facebook. So ARB is the air locker only option I have, but I'm only used. New is like two grand. So I'm running onboard air. But a lot of guys in the groups are just saying, run limited slip. That's fine too. But I prefer full lock if I could. So, all right, there's that for the four 9-inch update. I don't plan to build this axle anytime soon. I just bought it, got a good deal. I'm gonna keep it for a while till money builds up. And around August, I'll start building them up, gathering parts. And over this fall, build it. Now I might just give it to a shop, make sure it's all proper shimmed for the backlash and all that, get that properly done. Make sure the lockers figured out well. The shafts will be my hardest part, find the correct shaft lengths. Plus, yeah, just, and brakes, so. I might just pay someone to do it and build it right. So, all right, that's it. So I'll probably install this in, in um, November, December time and start installing the rear axle. And the front axle, I would love to find a Dana 44 passenger side offset disc brake, 538 limited slip. 
one minute slip, but yet still run outside hubs. Or fully block it and run hubs too. That's an option too. But. I don't want to be full lock everything. Eventually it will be diesel, more power and torque. But again, if you need lockers, if you need high horsepower, just pull the winch out, play it safe. That's why we have winches. No need to hit the gas pedal so hard and then break something. Now your day's ruined. Take your time, traction boards. Yeah, snatch blocks, pull those out and use them. That's why you have them. All right, so that's it for that. Not much else. That's it. I'm to go in for dinner now, so there's my update for the week on Jenny. So thanks for watching.